way. But God's reckoning of time, clearly outlined in the Hebrew Scriptures, we have completely forsaken in the West. We have inherited and adopted a pagan reckoning of time, which is completely out of focus of God's reckoning of time. In the Western world, every day of the week is named after a different pagan god. Every month of the year is named after a different fallen angel, a different god. From Janus, the two-headed god, all the way to August, Caesar Augustus, the, the god of the Roman Empire. And so it is that we have inherited a pagan reckoning of time and have completely forsaken God's reckoning clearly outlined in the Hebrew Scriptures. Even the Western world in America, which purports to believe that the Bible is the Word of God, has completely forsaken God's reckoning. It's as if the hands have been broken from the face of the clock. We don't know what time it is, but God knows what time it is, and He has a plan and a promise. And when the seventh or Sabbath millennium begins, we are going to see some incredible events as we come to the seventh month of the seventh millennium because the seventh month feast will be fulfilled when the day or millennium of the Lord begins. And we find ourselves right on the cusp of this at this point. It was three years ago that I published, I presented and defended in Jerusalem the, the first astronomically corrected biblical Hebrew calendar since the destruction of Jerusalem in 70 A.D. And it was Rabbi Hillel II in the 4th century that made uh, advanced mathematical and astronomical calculations when we no longer lived in the land of Israel. And those calculations were made so that we could have a projected calendar that could be used with his people being scattered over three continents. And so when we weren't in the land and couldn't keep God's original reckoning of time, then an alternative calendar was produced that at the time was extremely accurate. But now, 1,600 years later, those calculations were not accurate enough to keep the calendar on track over the long duration with which it's been in use. And so where we find ourselves at this particular point in time is that most of the time we are celebrating the feast days on the wrong day according to the modern Jewish calendar. And many times we're completely in the wrong month according to God's original reckoning of time. Now, whereas this may have been acceptable in generations past, now that we are back in the land, there is no reason why we can't go back to God's original reckoning of time. And also, what we have found ourselves embroiled in and uh, completely immersed in in the culture in the West is that we have inherited pagan celebrations and renamed pagan celebrations, again, which have no basis in truth or reality.